I love it when we get viewer questions because they're really awesome to get from our audience that uh, watches us every week. This one is from Paul Charette. Brett Kulak skates well, exits his zone with authority, and makes good first passes. He can join a rush and step up to keep pucks in deep or off the half wall in the offensive zone. Why doesn't he draw more praise? He's one, of, he's one of those defensemen that when he's playing really well, you don't notice him. Which, uh, Rick, you can probably appreciate that. If you've had a game and nobody noticed you, you, you've played well. And he looks so good with Jeff Petrie that I wonder that, you know, when, when that they should maybe just leave him there. When Ben Sherratt comes back, uh, maybe put Sherratt uh, back with Weber and maybe have Joel Edmondson drop down and play with uh, Romanov on the third pairing. That's three pretty good pairings you have there. Uh, you know, Kulak has spoke often about how uh, his confidence, he struggles sometimes when he loses his confidence. He plays so confident when he plays with Jeff Petrie. He played well with him in the bubble last season. He's playing well with him now. And that's something I would seriously think about if I was Dom Ducharme or Luke Richardson with the defense. Uh, that gives you three pretty good pairings. And a veteran like Edmondson playing along Romanov would certainly help the kid, uh, would free him up to be a little bit more offensive if he wants to. He'd always have the Rick Green type guy back there to help him out, sort of like Rick when he used to help Peter Svoboda. So, uh, yeah, Kulak, if you're not, if people aren't talking about Kulak, that's a good thing. And, I mean, really, if, you know, look at his game, and uh, one thing that will never change, as soon as a defenseman makes a mistake, everybody knows it's a mistake made by the D. The forwards can get away with a lot more, and, you know, everybody goes, oops, uh, nice try. But the defense uh, make make a mistake, and it's either a scoring chance or a goal. And, and Kulak is, uh, sees the opportunity to, uh, you know, to play and play well, keep it simple. He's, he, it looks like he's playing within his capabilities. And you know, that being said, it allows him to compliment him and Petrie in the way that he's always on the good side of the puck and he's making uh, smart decisions and good first passes. So the, uh, the, the, the gentleman that uh, made the comment on the pre-scouting of Kulak was right on. He, uh, he, he is a, a great player. He, uh, he needs to be recognized for the work that he's doing uh, as of late. And you know what? Uh, hats off to the coaching staff in giving him the opportunity to play and play lots and allow him to develop and, and build confidence and be, uh, become a real solid player for them. And uh, it's, it's really nice to see a defenseman like that grab the opportunity and do what he's doing, and that is keep mistakes down to the minimum. Keep your, your plays simple. Don't get yourself in trouble and uh, work together with your partner so that you can be dependable and be used in any situation. And that's going to allow you to, to become a, a better player uh, for your career. Yeah. It's just too bad that it's always the flashy players that gets all the praise because it's the ones that are the most obvious, but you know, as we said, it, it, for not getting acknowledged uh, as a defenseman is a good thing because you're doing everything right. You're being a steady player. You're not making mistakes or you're helping your teammates who have made mistakes, covering up for them, you know, keeping uh, the, the play going. And, and that's really kind of what it comes down to with, with Kulak is that unfortunately uh, he's not the first guy you're going to point to, but then if you think about the game and, and you really look at it in a whole, uh, they would not be having the success that they had if, Brett Kulak is not playing the way that he has been and not being that reliable defenseman. Well, our friend, Rick, our friend Rick wasn't a flashy defenseman, but there's a reason why he was a number one overall pick at the NHL mm -hmm. draft. He valued mm -hmm. defensemen who are, aren't noticed all the time on the ice. But you, you have to understand, too, uh, you know, the way I looked at things was, you know what, if I score three goals, uh, that keeps it fairly conservative because if – if I score more than three, then they're going to want five, six, seven. So if I keep it within the three range, two and a half, uh, you know, expectations of next year, I could double it up and still, uh, you know, still be able to survive in the NHL. So all good. <laughs> Who would you rather have on your defense core, Rick Green or Brett Kulak? Let us know in the comments section below. And visit HockeyInsideOut.com to check out our full episode and join the discussion in the comments section.